Okay, welcome back to the session on demand response curve. Uh, we were looking at uh, we were looking at the relationship between price and demand. In the last session, uh, we saw the relationship uh, to have four properties: uh, non-negativity, downward sloping, continuity, and differentiability. Uh, we saw uh, slope and elasticity to be the uh, way to measure price sensitivity. And we saw two types of relationship. Uh, one was a simple linear relationship and the other one was uh, 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 a relationship which maintains the elasticity uh, in, the, in, a li in the linear demand response curve. Uh, the elasticity may not be constant. However, in a constant elasticity relation relationship, the elasticity remains constant, but the relationship becomes non-linear. We saw that. Uh, we saw that uh, the uh, mechanisms for increasing the revenue may be different uh, whether uh, we are dealing uh, with a uh, different for uh, an elastic product and it may be different for a elastic product. Now the now let us continue with the further question. What is the what is the what is the uh, analytics problem here? The analytics problem here uh, is to be able to estimate a demand response curve, right? Uh, so we can we can think of uh, conducting an experiment in the market uh, where we offer different prices and at those different prices we check what is the realized demand at that particular time so for example uh, for for example let me change uh, this thing so i may offer a price i may offer a price and actually measure the quantity demanded in the market so let us say that for a, for a particular product, uh, let us not even uh, uh, give a specific product. Uh, uh, let us say that I, I offer a price of 3, 3 rupees. What is the realized demand? If I offer a price of 6 rupees, what is the demand? If I offer a price of 2 rupees, what is the demand? If I offer a price of 10 rupees, what is the demand? Right. Now, I do not expect the values to become negative because we are dealing with non-negative uh, uh, relationships, right? Uh, non-negative uh, values. So, even if I say that uh, the price is 50, I will say ah, probably the demand comes down to 0, may not come down to 0, but, uh, uh, but 0 is the, the, the smallest value that I am going to observe. So, uh, uh, essentially, uh, we want to collect this kind of a data through an experiment. Uh, so, uh, essentially we will have prices offered and corresponding realized demand values. So, uh, essentially uh, uh, demand can be considered to be the dependent variable, demand uh, uh, is a reaction of the market, demand is a reaction of the market, prices are the triggers for that reaction, therefore prices can be considered to be a explanatory variable, prices explain the difference in the demand values. So, uh, prices can be considered to be explanatory variable, demand can be considered to be dependent variable and let us say that from some experiment that we have conducted in the marketplace at a particular time, I have this data available. Now from this, I want to estimate what may be the slope, I want to estimate what may be the elasticity. Uh, uh, the elasticity may not be constant, uh, however, if my relationship looks like a relationship where uh, I have, a, uh, I have a D is equal to C into P to the power of negative epsilon. I may think of having a constant elasticity, right? Uh, slope uh, uh, may come in only when I am talking about a linear relationship. So, uh, uh, so uh, uh, linear relationship. So, uh, essentially, first of all, I may have to think about what kind of relationship I want to fit. If I want to fit a linear relationship between price and demand, I may be interested in finding the slope. If I am thinking of, uh, uh, if I am thinking of uh, uh, fitting a relationship where the elasticity may be constant, uh, I may, I may want to calculate the elasticity. I may want to estimate the elasticity from the data that I may have, right? So the value of slope I am going to get is only going to be an estimate of slope from the data that I may have. I, I may not have the entire population values. I may have collected a small uh, sample value of prices and the corresponding demand at those particular prices.